I'm glad to welcome you this morning for the 18th National Annual National Prayer Breakfast. As you will notice, we've much fewer guests due to the COVID-19 pandemic prevention health protocols. Your Excellency, I thank you for finding time off your business schedule to join us today for this prayer breakfast. The past one year has been a challenging one for the world and for our country, particularly because of the global health pandemic, which has challenged the global community, its governance structures, and its mechanisms for international collaboration. It has become an existential threat, hence the more reason for us to come together and pray as a nation. Our submission to God gives us hope through the recognition of the supreme power of prayer to drive our common destiny. Your Excellency, this is the 18th National Prayer Breakfast, the theme of whose is a hope for future. It is informed by the need for all of us to keep hope alive because as the Bible tells us in Romans 3, verse 5, hope does not disappoint. I'd also like to echo the words of Prophet Habakkuk as recorded in the book of Habakkuk chapter 3, verses 17 to 18, that though the fig tree does not burn and there are no grapes on the, on the vines, and though the, the olive crop fall and the fields produce no, fo no food, yet I will be joyful in God, my Savior. It is my plea to all of us as Kenyans that in this very challenging time we find ourselves just like Prophet Habakkuk, we do not have, we do not lose hope, but look up to God for help at all time. I'd like to commend the National Prayer Breakfast Group for continuously and tirelessly going the extra mile to ensure that we do draw from faith to inspire and guide efforts that unite the Kenyan nation. Our Muslim brothers and sisters just went through the precious holy month of Ramadan, a period of express, expressing gratitude and seeking God's grace and mercy. I take this opportunity to thank them for praying for Kenya, among other things. I also urge all of us to continue praying for our land and nation. Your Excellency, our nation has a deep-rooted sense of faith through so in diversity, and I'm grateful that our very progressive constitution has a robust bill of rights within which every Kenyan, and indeed every other person, is at liberty to enjoy and exercise cultural, social, economic, political, and religious rights. Prayer is one of the means through which we exercise our religious and social cultural rights. I take this opportunity to implore and encourage readers to recognize the privileged positions in which God has placed us and to execute our responsibilities in so just and faithful manner as to bring honor to the offices we hold and glory to God. Through this event, we are gratified as Parliament for the opportunity to be joined by yourselves in sending a message of hope to Kenyans through prayer. I urge all of us leaders to arise and pray for Kenya so that our nation will have peace and prosperity. Prophet Jeremiah, while writing to the Jews exiled in Babylon, told them to seek peace and prosperity of the place where they had been taken to into exile. He told them, and I quote, pray to the Lord for it, because if it pros prospers, you too will prosper. The same chapter, verse 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. This scripture gives us the assurance that when we pray, we are doing so to a God who has good intentions for us so we can go to him in full confidence that he will act in our best interests. In conclusion, Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, let us pray to, for God's deliverance from the COVID-19 pandemic and many challenges that we face as a country in our pursuit of social, economic, and political ideals. 
Let us continue to serve our people by pursuing those virtues that put us together rather than those that divide us. May the Lord bless and save Grand Kenya, and may the Lord make his face shine upon us. May the Lord be gracious to us. May the Lord lift his countenance upon us and give, give us his peace. <laughs>